Welcome back to the pink envelope. I got my favorite new t-shirt on that I got in my rambling redhead box. And I have the Dorothy Jean Decor Spring 2022 box. I am really excited about opening this box, but I'm gonna tell you right now, she has very limited inventory. So as we are hanging out and opening this, if you like it, you need to boogie down to my description, grab the coupon, grab the URL and order it because it's not gonna last long. If you do hop on there and you're like, she sold out of spring boxes. She's gonna be releasing the summer right behind that. I haven't seen it yet, but my coupon code does work for it. So you can check it out. Dorothy Jean is a quarterly home decor subscription box. It is $124.94 a quarter. I think that's such a funny number, but I, it's easy to remember, $124.94. And there is $5 shipping within the US. And if you use code TPE, you get a bonus item in your first box. You also can use code TPE20 to get 20% off shopping in the store. The thing to note is you actually have to go add the TPE free item to your cart along with your box, then input your coupon code to make sure that the checkout system gives you your item. If you can't find that, I have the direct URL for the free item down below in the description. It's on my blog, it's everywhere. So you can just click that, add that to your cart, add your box, be done. I have not looked at anything in here, so it's a complete surprise. I have dodged all spoilers because y'all know me, that is the way I like to do it. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. Uh, funny note, my very first Dorothy Jean box was requested by you guys for the home decor haul we did last year, like Christmas of 2021. And I was really blown away by what we got in that box. Like We got like a whole stool that had like a cement top and wood legs. My husband just left and the Hue lighting system just turned off all the lights in the house. There we go, that's better. I love Hue by the way, their like light thing, but yeah, every once in a while that does happen. You can hook your phone up like I could hook my phone up and it would stop that from happening, but you have to actually go through the steps to hook it up and I get kind of lazy when it comes to updating my apps. But my first time to open this box was that haul we did and I, freaking loved the box. So I'm really excited about what's in here. I can smell the dried greenery right now. And that is one of the happiest scents ever. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if you remember when Jonathan and I did the Sub box, what did we title that? Hold on, I've gotta get the name. The sub box challenge. I'm gonna pop the card up up here. Where Jonathan, my husband and I had a challenge who could build the best box, which by the way, we totally should do that again. We, okay, we are gonna do that again. And I'm gonna use the Ask the Pink Envelope Facebook group. And you guys in that group are gonna set the rules. So, okay, I'll loop back. We're gonna chat about that soon, Pink. Pink envelope people, we're gonna do that. But if you remember from watching that video, I put dried greenery in my box because I freaking love dried greenery. So legit, this may sound really cheesy. I don't even care what else comes in this box because my heart is soaring with this greenery, literally soaring. For all of the home decor boxes we receive, we have very few that send dried greenery. Now we did have, um, the pampas grass who came in one of the, but they were like little bitty. So I was like a fan, but not a fan because they weren't like the big pampas grass. These are everything and more. They're gorgeous. They smell amazing. Like truly happy, happy, happy. So way to go. What are these? I wonder. Preserve stems. That's all it says. But oh, it has care instructions. You can scan the QR code and it tells you how to take care of your stems. I didn't even know there were steps. The Everlasting Floral Bar Blooming Fools. Oh my gosh. Yay, a million yays. There is a bunch of stuff in here. Now I'm kind of getting sad because I know there's very limited inventory on this box. And I have a sneaky suspicion we are all gonna freaking love this box. Well, I guess, I mean, this will be two for two if I love this one. So that's a, that's a good sign for summer. I love this handmade artisan ceramic. That's all it says. And this guy definitely has that perfectly imperfect ceramic look. 
It does have a hole in the top and it does have feet on the bottom. I wonder how tall he is. He is very wonderful, a great neutral color. Okay, he is about seven inches tall and about four inches across. So I would just say a medium size ceramic, obviously not meant for real water. I mean, it would hold real water, but there's not a drain. You would wanna drill a hole, back to the disclaimer on that. You can take a drill and drill a hole, like turn it upside down, drill a hole, pour water over it while you do it but you do have to do it at the exact right speed or your pottery will crack. So proceed at your own risk. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. Just for the record, I'm not gonna drill a hole and I drill a hole all the time because I just, I don't wanna risk it. Every time you do it, it is a risk. It's a set. I love sets. Sets make decorating so easy. So this guy is just a little bit different. Once again, he does have the hole on the top and the feet on the bottom. So there we go. Freaking loving, loving, loving this direction. Loving all the greens. All of the home decor boxes we've whipped out have had beautiful greens for spring and I am about that life. This guy is about three and a half inches tall and about three inches across. Mmm, love. What do we got here? Stop. It's a set of three. Okay, we never get sets of threes. In home decor subscription boxes, I don't know why, we get sets of two or we get individual items. This is a set of three. And I am loving that this is like breaking tradition for like decor boxes. This is like, oh my gosh, a shelf is done. The corner of my mantle is done with these three. I'll put all of these measurements in the description below, so don't panic about grabbing them. But this guy is like five and a half inches tall and three across, has the hole on top and has the feet on the bottom. These are awesome, awesome, awesome. There are so many things you can do with these guys. They work with any season. Here is another guy, let's see what this is. You guys! That is so pretty. One of the last boxes we just opened, I was just going on and on about the beautiful, more pottery looking things and how much I love them. We got more, we got more. So here's this guy. He is like, it's, it's raised. It has like a handmade pottery feel to it. This is perfect to put by the door, to throw things in, to throw keys in, to throw whatever in. I'm gonna use this with food. I'm gonna serve out of this. It's fabulous. It is 11 inches across and about three inches wide. Looks super good with this line up here. Like this is all very yay. I'm putting this in our new guest bathroom. I mean, by new, it's like been on the DIY list for forever, but like my husband and I are for real, we're finishing it this time. Very cute. So now I have shelves in my girl's bathroom. This would look cute on like built-in shelves, like a converted medicine cabinet. You take the old medicine cabinet out and you just put shelves in the in groove part. This would be cute in a bathroom. This would be cute on a shelf in the bathroom, like hanging on the wall. You could put these on the counter by the sink and then hang this. I wasn't even thinking bathroom and now I am so super thinking bathroom. Very cute. This guy is seven, uh, six and a half inches tall and about nine and a half inches wide. And on the back, it just takes a single nail. Thank you for not making it dual because that is really annoying <laughs> when something's this small and you have to put two holes in the wall. You could use, I would probably use, um, what are the sticky things? Command hooks, command strips on this so that I'd have to worry about putting a hole. Very cute, very, very cute. There's a big box in here, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Let me tell you, $5 shipping for all of this. Homegirl's <laughs> helping us pay for the shipping because these things are heavy. This is good pottery stuff. This thing's super heavy. Oh my gosh. 
This is fabulous. Let me just rotate this entire guy for you. It is perfectly imperfect. It has a very much a handmade. Can you like, can you see the edge? It's not even near being straight. It's fabulous. It does have feet on the bottom so that it will not scratch. Oh my goodness gracious, that is awesome. You guys, that is awesome. Very well done, like sticking with a very specific theme. Instead of having one or two things that are everywhere, she kind of leaned into one look. You can decorate one nook, one shelf, a mantle. Like she did a great job of leaning in to creating a very cohesive look. This could be considered to be a little bit rogue. So let me just like pull this out so we visually can play this game. Look at this as a group. You could put this on an entry table. You could put this bedroom on your dresser, a sideboard. Literally, your opportunities for this are endless. I mean, and then it's a bonus that we got this guy. At $124.94, we have gotten a very good value in this. So I think this is just kind of a fun bonus item. I happen to really, really like the sign, so that's probably <laughs> helping me like the whole box more. And then if you're if you're new, you use the code, the TPE code, and you get the free item. That's great. All right. This is not gonna last long. Things I will tell you, tips and tricks with Dorothy Jean. She's a very small ran box. It might even just be her. So if you go on and you're like, oh, it's sold out. Feel free to shoot her an email and say, hey, I was watching the pink envelope. I wanna order that box. Cause she does kind of manually run her inventory. And the other day I got on and I was like, hey, the box is sold out. She's like, no, no, it's definitely not. And she added the inventory. So don't be scared to reach out and, and contact her and say, are you sure you're sold out? And where is it at? If indeed it is sold out, the last box that she did, if I can find a photo of it, I'm gonna pop that photo up right here that I included in the Q4 2021 home decor box haul was amazing. Great value. So you're not risking much if you want to going to go ahead and pre-dive into the summer box and get it ordered. Mallory, this is amazing. Great job on the curation. I am super impressed and I can't wait to see what you do for summer. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel. If you have not joined the group I was talking about earlier, the Ask the Pink Envelope group, go down below to the description. I do have the URL there. We are talking about all the boxes and all the things. I have a beach subscription box haul coming up that was built and curated by you. Boxes you guys have specifically asked about. I have a women's fashion haul coming up curated by you, specifically addressing your questions and boxes you're interested in. And I have a couple more specific hauls coming up. I'm not gonna give it all away right now. That if you subscribe to the channel, you're gonna be a part of. If you join the Pink Envelope group, you'll be a part of. And you get all the discounts first and you get the sneak peeks first. It's really a win-win. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. And if you subscribe, I'm gonna see you guys later. <laughs> Bye y'all.